Hey, this is Low Key As Me, and you're listening to Guts Podcast. Stick around, we live in the beehive. We love horror movies, man. Horror movies are our life. You know, there's some horror goons. Uh, I'm Zango the Vinci. You boy ATX and Space Vikings. I'm trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life. Crowd in the background. Crowd in the background. Three, two, one. Hey, what's up? Woo! Welcome to Guts Welcome Podcast. Welcome to Guts Podcast, man. We over here in 411 West Armour at the Witches Market. I'm Zaino the Vision. It's your boy Space Viking. Low key as me. Hey, we got, we got some hella fight. We're out at the Witches Market. Hey, where y'all at right now, man? Y'all come get your asses up here, man. I feel sassy, and I'm not afraid to tell anyone that right now. <laughs> okay? I might put a spell on some hoes out here. Oh, we don't know what the deal is. Hey, do y'all ladies like to ride broomsticks? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Hey, hey so, shout out to the fam that showed up, man. Yeah, man, appreciate Daniel, y'all, man. man. Appreciate y'all, Fla- man. La Flag. La Flag. La Simon. La Simon. Hey, you better, on the podcast. you better get that correct, man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, that's that's our, that's our fan, boy, baby. Chris H. What's up, Chris? Come say hi, man. Yeah. What's up, listeners? Oh, Yay. yeah. Hey, yeah. What's up, Dan? You going? Dan- Uh-oh. Up. Daniel. He's like, I'm a lawyer. I don't do this shit. He's shaking his head. I don't want to do this right now. I guess the defense rests. Off the record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Off the record. Fuck it. Off the record. Hey, man, we having a good time tonight. We got a we got a episode about our three favorite Witch movies. We just gonna do it because yeah. that's that's the topic. We're, yeah, we're at the witch we market. <laughs> the bitch. Talk about some witch shit. And like I said, my seventh grade teacher was a fucking witch. But uh, it's gonna be I'll awesome. I'll get you, my pretty. So what's what's so your so topic? What's here, your so first here's one? the thing about witch movies, right? So hey. first of all, what makes a good witch movie? Because right? I've been doing, I did my homework on this. Yeah, you, you have to, you have to kind of, yeah. What does make a real? Well, good it's witch not movie? as easy as you think to find a dope ass witch. I mean, there's tons of witch movies, but not too many of them are horror. There's a lot no. of family friendly. Yeah, so witch like the, movies. So what would you say, like the the, the Wizard of Oz, the Wiz? Yeah, there's tons of Hocus Pocus. Yeah. There's tons of honorable. Hey, what's, your, what's your favorite? Honorable mention. Well, you're you're jumping the gun again. Well, I like jumping guns. Jumping Jump in front guns. of the fucking guns and we'll shoot shit. So. First off, why do we love witches? Yeah. Right? They're know, hot, right? usually yes. in the movies. They wear all They're black, kind of so they kind of disguise in themselves. There's mm. a hint of danger. Yes. That might stimulate you just right. And I think they know how to balance chemicals, because they always brewing up some. Yeah. Huh? They're not scared to get evil with you. No. They're not scared to take it. What there. else is it? And they love cats. They like cats. I like cats. Hey! Laura hey. likes cats. Laura's in the mix. Laura likes cats. Laura Simon like, is in the mix. I love it. She has two cats, by the way, folks. Two of them. So, you know, and then I had to think of the question, okay, well, are we talking like what constitutes a witch? Are we talking like yeah. a genie, a yeah. djinn? Because if, if you're allowed to use djinn. they got guy witches too, which is wild warlocks. shit. Warlock. Oh, warlock. Warlock. Yeah. yeah. Now, oh, now he jumps in. Now he jumps. Now he yeah. So, warlocks. So Warlock also, was good. The, a gin, but a gin is more. Like, I figured a gin is more like yeah. a demon. Um, so that's not doesn't really count. I, I, with my list, I was going like hat, yeah. broomstick, green face, all of that shit. Yeah, I, I mean, know the real mix, huh? So yeah. with that being said, I even though shout out to the Wishmaster one through five. I love all yeah, those that movies. Shit was dope. Um, hey, but I got a man. We I, we got them dope lists. We got yeah, a dope list, so I think so. My first, my number three pick. Uh oh. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's, it's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. What the fuck? Well, because, and I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm going to give you my pick and I'm going to explain why. It's a tie between Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Nice, nice. I feel you. And Pumpkinhead. Hey. Pumpkinhead hey. goes motherfucker. Oh, Paige in the building. Paige is Paige, in the come building. Paige, say hi on the podcast, yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, Vanessa. Quinessa. Hello. Vanessa. Hello. Hello. Hey, Vanessa Travel. Would you uh, say hi to the Travel. podcast? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Oh, my God. I'm a 
Huge hey! It's going down at the witch market. She's hot. Put the spell on these motherfucking ladies. Hey, so, so that's a cold ass time. I like that. Pumpkin and Halloween season three, or Halloween three season of the witch. Now, that's I some like. Good choices. Yeah. Pumpkin head is Pumpkin live head as is fuck. Shit. Yeah. It's like got the redneck thing going, which yeah. I love. Shout yeah. out H Town, Texas, Grueson for life. Hey, chainsaw. And it's got the thing about it, the witch is actually fucking scary as shit in the Yeah. Movie. Yeah. Right? No shit. So the witch is scary. Um, it's got like, you know, so the, the pumpkin head story is this dude who owns the like country store. Yeah. Burns out for a second. And his kid gets fucking whacked with a dirt bike. Yeah, and it's going and down. And he wants to get revenge on the fucking he people wants, that did it. So he, he wants some real so revenge. So he goes to the old backwoods witch. She conjures up the motherfucking pumpkin, pumpkin head, head. And he starts doing work. It was fucked up, man. I got a, They used to call me pumpkin head because of the size of my head. <laughs> I used to hate that shit. But then I, liked, I watched the movie. I was like, yeah, you right. But the thing is, yeah, when you everybody sees right. you, they know why. They like, they yeah, they, they like, pumpkin. God damn it. Look hey, at that so head. So Kent just pulled up. <laughs> Kent, my number three pick was a tie between... Oh. Pumpkinhead and Halloween That's 3 Season movie. of the Witch. We, we got one from the crowd. It says Kiki's yeah. Delivery yeah. Pumpkin Service. Has Pumpkin has yeah, fire. Like but Halloween guess, 3 is fire. Guess, guess what yeah. I threw in there? All right. The Witches of Eastwick. Ooh. Wait, hold on. So what's yeah. your, Hold on. You're, jump, you're skipping orders. You know, that was, those are my number three. What's your number three? Uh, I got to go Blair Witch. Definitely because that fucked everybody up. So That's your number three. That's my number three. All right. That was Zaino's number three. Yes. Ken, what's your number Zaino's three? number three? Yeah. yeah. What's your number three? Drum oh, roll. My number three is The Blair Witch Project Part 2. Hey. Oh, Book of Shadows. Yeah. Hey. Book was, of Shadows on hey, that ass. I, I, like I, like I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. But see, that was your number three? So are we going to my number two because you gave all yours? No. Mine was a tie for number three. Fuck oh. the tie. Yeah. We make our own rules. Oh. Okay, I don't likes, give a baker's fuck. We got witches brewing. <laughs> and I'm hot Monster tonight, flowing. baby. I'm hot. Monsters are flowing. We out here got the Vans and Adidas on, right, baby. Well, I'm interested. What's your number two? Yeah, what's your number two? All right, number two uh, is is a guilty pleasure for me. Oh, yeah. I cranked off to it a lot when Those I was growing up. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. What is cranked it? Off. The craft. The craft, the craft. Yeah. yeah. And I walked back to, out to the witches market out there. They were playing the craft song. Craft, I was yeah. like, the craft was the shit. Yeah, you saw the craft? Yeah. We asking the crowd, have any of y'all saw the craft? Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. we got fans. We got three. We got snakes. we got three yeses and two noes. <laughs> Man, no, take Yo, my that scarf. snake scene. Oh, is yeah. Snake. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Ninety stars to the wind. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, Paige? How soon is now by the Smiths? Yes. Nice. How soon is now nice. by the Smiths? We'll always get nice. some undercarriage Forest stimulated. And so, oh, so we so doing craft is my we doing two. ties for movies. My favorite second oh, one is is the Wiz. The Have Wiz. you ever seen the Wiz? <laughs> it got a fucking witch in there, and I was like fucking, I was like fucking five or six years old. It was a, a wicked witch of the east and a wicked witch of the west. It was no, that the good each good. no, no. I'm talking about the Wiz, the oh, not yeah, not right. the Wizard of Oz. Oh, the Wiz, but the Jackson Wizard of Oz is the. That's why I say it's a tie, cause they got that both of them witches in there. And I was real young when I saw that shit. My auntie sat me down with a bowl of fucking oatmeal and made me watch this fucking movie. And I didn't finish my oatmeal. Let me tell you that shit. <laughs> fucking movie, fuck my head number up. Two. And she's Planet's number two. My number two is. I'm gonna go with the witch. It's a newer uh, movie. And I've told you that before. I love uh, that yeah. shit. You like yeah, it? Yeah, see. This shit was fire, we, we, right? Dude, it's a... Fuck out of here. Uh, oh, shit noises on it. Is, y'all can't get. Can we can we throw a diaper at that movie? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fire, man. Man, we tried to it watch that movie. It was disturbing. It that's the thing. You don't try to watch a movie. We try. Just fucking we do. To watch it. That just goes to show you. Like, that, just <laughs> that just goes to show you that y'all went into it with a negative mindset. No, we wanted it. We wanted it to be good. Here's the family the went into the woods, and that's when the woods turned me off. Here's the thing about the witch. The atmosphere setup was great, right? Yeah, definitely. But if you go too long without shit happening for me, yeah, it can't keep me off my phone. Yeah, to keep me off my phone factor, it was, didn't last, man. It didn't last. It didn't if last. If you can't keep me off of Instagram or sending a dick pic to somebody, <laughs> I'm not gonna be into it. But I respect you as yeah. a person yeah. and as a yeah. human being. So, what's your number one? So my number one. Is just a movie that is it means a lot to me. My sister Uh-oh. and me watch this every single day growing up. And when my sister calls me, her it still says on her What's the movie, man? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the goddamn movie. You know, I'm trying to explain some shit. You know, you're so... <laughs> God damn it. That's the goddamn movie, So when movie, my sister man. calls me... You know, I'm trying to talk about feelings here. <laughs> Anyways, The Witches, man. The Witches. Yes. Oh, yeah. The, now you're talking about my movie? The, I didn't talk shit witches. about your movie. I talked about his movie. Oh, you yeah, trifling his, hussy? His, his movie was whack. I don't like The Witch. No. This motherfucker said The Witch, and he's going to say my movie? But he what? said The Witches. The Witches actually good. <laughs> no. The Witches. Better, the witches. <laughs> Angelica Houston. I used to crank it to her hey, a lot. Hey, Angelica. She was like, bitches of England. This all goes back to 18. Yeah, off. yeah he likes cranking. <laughs> wow. Well, all right, my number one, drum roll, please. You gotta go with the witches of Eastwick, man. You already said fucking that, no, but this is my number one. Oh, Jack fucking Nicholson, the Jack favorite Nicholson. line of the movie. You always want a piece of pussy after lunch, baby. <laughs> always, <laughs> god damn it. Always. You know, I went to the playground with that knowledge in hey, my fucking Cher head. Hey, was hot in that movie. Cher was bro. fucking hot. Who else was in the um? Susan Sarandon, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Come Pfeiffer. on, man, that's that's hotties of the eighties. Are you serious? Hey, Which Susan is a Sarandon though, she's she looked old even when she was but young. But you know, I like she's them glasses. Bad. I like them glasses. I still and I like Cher. the way I like it's all the about way. Cher. Yeah, Cher was Cher. bad. But look, Susan Sarandon, the way she let him part them legs a little bit, she's yeah. a little freak. She, she is my little undercover librarian freak, and I love she her. She got ass that for marinated that shit. pussy. Tell you. Oh, she's like an old she, island. Cher, if hey, you're Cher. listening to this, yeah, I'm pregnant by hey, you. Hey, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, if you down with the swirl, and 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 and, and, and right now you like a mountain well, lion. You will be Daniel Levine. Right, right now, yeah, that's oh, your trademark. Hey, right yeah, now, when you, when you when we're paying you on the payroll. Hey, are you arguing with the crowd? <laughs> Sorry, Michelle Pfeiffer, you're a mountain lion and you're beautiful, baby. Okay, thanks. All right, Ken, What's number your, one. Um, oh, uh -oh. my number one is hands down, oh, just because shit. of the impact it had on me. Is the motherfucking Blair Witch Project? Part ah, one. okay. That shit okay. was fantastic, bro. When that shit, see, that was my number is, three. Y'all, when people hear the Blair Witch Project, <laughs> they think about the Blair Witch Project right now, 2019. No, no, no. They're not okay. thinking about. They're not thinking about in context. Nobody ever seen that shit before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when they that, made at money. the end, when that motherfucker was standing up in the corner, yeah, to the against the wall. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. That shit was real to me. I yeah. saw it in the theater live. Yeah, I was in my, fucking high as shit. Yeah. I was in my girlfriend's lap. Yeah. Ashley yeah. Whitaker. What's up, girl? Hey, Ashley. Ashley hey, what to do, <laughs> baby? Let me borrow ten dollars. There you go. <laughs> Ashley Whitaker. And that's why I love her. Is that, a, Louis, is that, that a Louisiana girl? Oh, but anyway. ignore them all. It's hocus pocus for the win. Hey, <laughs> he said, he's saying, 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 he's Hocus Pocus is the jam. I'm so let's, let's go down. I was thinking, hey, no, it's not a whole Let's movie. go down the road right quick. You say Hocus Pocus. You said, uh, Lord, what's your Lord, what you say? Wizard of Oz, I like that. Hey. She did. She told me she that was one of her favorites. All right, so that's Jessica Parker. Two Hocus Pocus. What you got? Hey. Your favorite witch movie. Which movie? No, that's my. That's not my favorite though. The, the craft. The craft. That's my favorite right there. Yeah. Oh, Exorcist. Shit. Not my favorite. Shit. Oh, shit. Which movie? That's not witch. He like fucking. He's like he's she's a witch to him. <laughs> Everyone leave Chris alone. <laughs> I her. He's been dealing with shit all week at work. Best witch movie is the craft. The craft. The craft awesome. taught us all about yeah. witches. Yeah. yeah, but I. Because we were all fucking teenagers. Yeah, but see, TV, you gotta go. You gotta go watch Witches of Eastwick. I'm yeah, telling you, you gonna love that shit. You gotta take cultural. You gonna love that shit. But see, my mom was watching that with me. Yeah, the craft is the shit. I love the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It was like it was like it was like a close. It was like a clueless on admit, ecstasy. I did watch The Craft over and over yeah. and over. I watched it last night yeah. and I made that video that I posted yeah. on Instagram. The Craft, so we're going to get a craft. But the Craft is getting more votes than see, anything. The reason the I didn't watch The Blair Witch Project over and over again because it was too fucking scary, dude. Yeah. And the thing is, when I, as a kid, Ooh. I spent a lot of time in the woods by myself. Hey, we're in an open yeah, bar right now doing this and I'm just looking at a lot of thighs right now. Oh, they're, looking, <laughs> they're looking good. Well, hey, hey, right hey I like being at work and I like yeah, my yeah, mind to wonder. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> don't listen to He's looking at a lot of flies. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> head motherfucker. Hey, so that's our top three. Hey, I love our choices, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was a pretty dope, man. Yeah, yeah that was I live. I think we covered the whole stream of things, you know so what's So what's so crazy, we finna do a surprise thing. And we want to talk to our boy, Low Kids Me, about something, man. Oh, shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, we're going to throw him out there. So, <laughs> what is it that our boy, Low Kids Me, y'all understand he's our producer. Producer. That dude raps. He raps and shit. He write music. He's a writer. This motherfucker bartends. He's not scared to get freaky. He's not scared to get freaky. Or kinky. Or kinky. He's from Louisiana, so you know he know a little voodoo. Gumbo shit. And not only is he our producer and right hand man, he's also our guest for the night too. But he don't even know it. So we doing a surprise guest because we gotta do it like that. He was asking us all week. Surprise interview. So this is a surprise interview with Kent. Low key is me, the planners. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. You ain't scared, man. So I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. What you got? Hit me with your best shot. So Kent, give us a little bio rundown. And what's hey? What I want to know? This motherfucker got the Exorcist tattooed on him. Black. Look, yeah, he, I got some questions. Yeah, for we Kent. got questions for Kent. You got a lot of horror. He's scared of horror movies for one thing. But he's got the Exorcist tattooed. So on his tell arm. us about your childhood. Tell us about your horror journey. Home. My horror journey. Well, you yeah. that right. horror journey. So it, it was a nice. It was a dead, quiet, gloomy night back <laughs> in 1989. <laughs> no, so dead basically, quiet, my, my relationship night. with horror movies started with my cousin Ryan and my cousin Corey and my cousin Katie. Nice. Um, hey, the seats up in before anyone. we moved to <laughs> out of this place called Homa, Louisiana. Uh-oh. Home is at the bottom of the map. Oh, that's you like the go, wilderness. Let's take a trip yeah. to the bottom of the map. Swamp. Oh. So, uh, me and my cousins, we, they were the only cousins I had that were my age, nice. on my dad's side. Gotcha. And their uh, their parents were kind of lunatics and shit, so they would leave us be. Oh. And my cousin Ryan, who was the oldest out of us, was a big, really, really deep into it uh, Stephen King fan. Gotcha. So he would show us these movies, and he would read these books to us. And to tell you the truth, he had that type of skill where he could read a book and make it as scary as a movie. Nice. You know? So we didn't have to wait for the Tommy Knockers movie to come out or Cujo or shit like that. Cujo. Like we would watch Cujo <laughs> or Carrie, and then he would read Cujo Is and Carrie. Carrie. Witch? Nah, Carrie's just a disturbed bitch. <laughs> well, she does a lot of fucked up shit. Disturbed bitch. So uh, that's where it started with me, and that's where the fascination came. And then, like you know, it ended. Brian just hop- with Brian's that house. Palmer. Yeah, that creepy house. You're living that in. house. I mean, anything that, that was house you up. out of the... I'm telling you, bro. It was it was one of the most... Living in that house. So, basically, if people haven't heard, when we moved from... When we moved to a place called Hammond, Louisiana. Hammond. Uh, my stepdad you. came up on some money, <laughs> right? Yellow and King. so he paid the rent on this house. Uh-oh. And it was this big house, right? But that rent was Sounds super like cheap. like a undercover drug dealer. And we couldn't go upstairs. There was one one stairwell upstairs and there was a door that was locked and that was the rules of us living at this house Damn. no one goes upstairs you don't think about upstairs oh. you don't look in the windows upstairs oh. you don't fuck with that door don't go upstairs that's creepy so we lived in this big ass house but couldn't go upstairs for three years fuck imagine living in a house and having you a whole upstairs, upstairs as a kid hey, that's live dude. as a kid i know you wanted to go up i know that. you went in there the curiosity yeah he had, he had to. to go in there dude the thing is is i thought about it the curiosity. But about a week after us living there, we started, the shit started happening. Dude. Damn. And you would walk down the hall, and, and the footstairs shit. would follow you above you. So you would feel shit Or you would purposely turn off the lights in the bathroom, right? And say, okay, we're going to test and see what's going on, really, right? Damn. And then you would go back in the bathroom, and the light wouldn't be on, but the water would be running. Oh, shit. Wow, dude. Yeah. I what like the it. Fuck? And then, so we would wake up at 2 in the morning, and all the lights in the house, our bedroom light, our parents, every light in the house, every light outside would be on. So it was haunted uh, for real. It was haunted for real. Damn. And then we would go to turn them off, and when you would turn one off, they would all fucking turn off. In the oh, hell. I'm telling you, dude. Dope. That it is was fucking as wild. real and as as concrete so, as So how old were you when that was yeah. going on? I was in this was fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. <laughs> hey, so, so how old were you when you got know? the Exorcist tattoo? <laughs> Twenty nine. Okay. Okay. So, All right. so did everybody in your did everybody in the town kinda know about the house? Like was it stories, you know, well, like hey, I, don't go to that house? I didn't think so for a while, but then we've heard like so that the house was in this neighborhood of a 
it was kind of in this is well-to-do neighborhood, yeah. which is weird for me, you know, because it was all new. But they had these people down the street. It was Robin and Jason Capel, mm. and their parents would never let us let them come to our house. Shit. Never. Because and of that. Because of that. Wow. Yeah. And so anybody that lived close knew about the house. Yeah. Anybody that lived close. And sure enough, I mean, when we moved out the house, that dude tried to rent out that house and sell that house for 10 years. Uh, and he eventually wild. had to tear it down and sell the land. Oh. So so they knew. It's like, so people would walk by and be like, hey, that's the hunting yeah. house. And they knew you lived in there. So they, yeah. what they thought of, they was like, this is kids. So you got like okay. teased a lot or some shit. Well, fucked with, huh? Not really. I kind of got like, you the brave one. Oh shit! You, you know? living yeah. in a damn house. Boy, but was in them screeds. But, but once it started, boy was in them hammer like screeds. I was a latchkey kid, so I came home by myself. You know, I yeah. rode my bike to school. I rode my bike home, and when I got home from school, it was just me. Yeah. yeah. So me too. They had a big magnolia <laughs> tree in my front yard, that. right? My parents, my mom or my big brother was kind of like my dad. They didn't get home till six thirty. Damn. Yeah. So I would get home and I would climb up in that magnolia tree and wait. Every single day, I would not go in that house. I How mean, long was you in that tree, man? Long fucking time, like four hours a day. Me and that tree got comfortable. I could climb that bitch with my eyes closed. You had your but spot I wouldn't in go that. in that fucking house. Oh, I wouldn't go in that house. shit. So if you do something with magnolias tatted on you, shirts, I'm going to understand where that's coming from. Well. I got you. I got you. That is some right. wild deep so, shit, man. Kinda, I'm going to kind of skip a, skip forward a few years. If y'all don't know, Ken is a dope ass fucking rapper. Hell yeah. He's got shit on. Where can they find your music at? I mean, just Google low key as me. Google and I pop low key. Up. He's going to pop up. He's a beast. Man. So, what is Google your biggest play. inspiration now when you're doing music? Oh, fuck. It's going to sound crazy. I have three major ones uh, Elton John. All right. All right. Uh, J. Cole. J. Okay. Cole. And Juvenile. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see why all this. I see yeah. where it all combined. I really at. like. I really like Elton John. Not for his. Not just his musical ability, which is ridiculous. It's unparalleled, right? Anything that anybody ever wrote for him, he could knock off. He could pull off like that. Like yeah. there was no question. They could write the most intricate, long form shit, and he would just deliver it every single time with and blow everybody's expectations away. Uh, yeah. But not only that is when Elton John first came out. They didn't know he was this gay white guy from Europe. Mm. They thought he was some black dude from Mississippi. Yeah. Just because the soul he had in his voice and his playing is ridiculous. His yeah. piano yeah. playing is insane. His piano playing is sick. Yeah. So yeah. he kind of got that that both ways that he blew their he blew them away before they saw him. Yeah. You know? So um, you had to love him before you even exactly. got to know him. Perfect. And when? Go ahead. Oh my bad. I didn't want to cut you off. But when? What age did you start rapping? Started, well, it started with spoken word poetry. Nice. Okay. Uh, I did that for a long time in Louisiana and competed in shit like that. Uh, but I, I mean, my my relationship with music and being a working musician didn't start with hip hop. Yeah. It started with like heavy. First, it started with drum and bass, electronic music, and then I got a job working as a percussionist and a drum tech on uh, for Yeager Music. Yeah. So I'll go on these heavy metal tours, Tattoo the Earth, uh, Ozfest. Vans Warp Tour. I did that for 10 years and toured with heavy metal music, uh, but still wrote. And then when I went into rehab uh, at the Shout Texas, out Texas House, house boy, yeah, hey. I met this Roll dude. Crew. Came, uh, I would go Water up parks. and I would write a lot. I mean, the kitchen. You, when you get in that type of mindset, it's the first time your mind could actually sit down and wander. Yeah, for, definitely. I mean, you know, eight years. Nine if years, ever see, just going if, and going if they and ever going. see you in the streets, let me tell y'all something. Make them recite Caitlin for you. That's all I gotta say. That's that shit right there. That's but that anyway, shit. he gotta hear that. So. I would write these poems and, and tell these poems and shit, and then I met this dude named Christian Lake. Hey, and what's he up, was, Fish uh, Scale? He was like, bro. Shout out to Fish Scale. Shout out to Slump Sessions. Whatever uh, you're yeah. doing, you need to do it behind a beat because nice. you're really, really spitting some nice shit. Yeah. And uh, he kind of taught me, you know, and I remember I went, I first made work phases when you could go out of, into the public. My first day in work phase was the first time I ever recorded a hip hop song. Oh, shit. It was my very first day in work phase. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I booked That's studio dope. time with uh, Christian's cousin, Ivy, who's a producer. And I went to his house, and this motherfucker had instruments and 
K oscillators and keyboards and samplers and turntables and whole wall full of vinyl all over his house. This motherfucker was a school teacher and he lived like this. His whole living room and dining room was nothing but musical instruments. There was wires going everywhere. Damn, so so we met in uh, out of music you was writing. Oh yeah, you were in there with yeah. them. Yeah. So and uh, workface, right? Yeah, so I was, y'all did the whole the whole three sixty five nah, together? We, damn near. Damn but near. um so when you used to do that music and you <laughs> let me listen to it. You would have got booked if they would have found out you went. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, definitely. Hey, nice. but, but he used to write, I always be like, hey, Shout man. Shout out to the Wednesday Night Confrontation in like, hey, Texas come sit house. down, come sit down and listen to this. But I didn't know. I'm thinking you already recording because you, yeah. you got it for positive affirmations. You got up and, and did your thing. And people started hearing it about it. And yeah. So people started requesting it on the positive affirmations. Yeah, like, hey, man, like, do this, do this. Oh, he, we'll be in the library. He'll be like, hey, hey, come check this out. That's He'll get to spitting something. I'm like, nah, that shit dope. That's I'm thinking he already, like, Full fledged recording that was this before stuff. I ever recorded. Man, anything. that's that. See, you always learn something new, man. So that's that so kind of once I did that the first time, it came really, really natural. Hey, someone's you know, in a crowd eating honey. Doing. Oh, <laughs> you, you nasty. is that real honey? Yeah. Oh honey. sh. And then they gave me a little honeycomb. Oh, stick. it's going honey down. Honey with a honeycomb stick. Hey. Honey with a honeycomb Comb stick. The nose honey ring. with a honeycomb stick. Wow. About to go home and pass out by noon. <laughs> Noon is reverse midnight in the witching reverse hour. Reverse midnight. They love it, man. All right. Hey, so. What else about Getting Ken? deep. Getting deep. Hey, what's up? We got yo, some more. Yo, yo. We, we got, got some more people. attendees, man. What's up, my brothers? Hey, y'all can welcome to say what's up yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, shout out to the podcast. What's up? What's up, fam? <laughs> who is who, it? Who, who are you? Uh, I don't have a... <laughs> this is Joseph from the gym. Shout out to the gym, 1950 West Gray. That's the yes, kind of, sir. That's the kind of fucking world we live in. <laughs> he said, I don't What's have a name? hashtag. I don't have a hashtag. <laughs> I don't have a hashtag, <laughs> bitch. I love it, man. I love yeah. it. I love it. Zach, say what's up, man. Say what's up. We're live. What's up, Zach. Guts fans? Hey. Yeah. Here. Hey. Uh, we live. Shout out to the gym, 1950 West Gray, for Come. all your body needs. <laughs> And um, your motivational fluids. <laughs> hey, so all of the body needs. All of all the, the body, body needs. Are all what your body needs? Yeah. Oh. I think Hell that's yeah. another new one. I had, a, I had a good slogan for what the you gym. Got? We got you from dick to temple. Oh. Okay. See, 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 you see. Right? It's what about the feet? <laughs> I guess your feet can look like. Important. Can't skip leg day, bro. I guess you. Feet. <laughs> Can't skip leg Lowell day. Lowell Simon says, "Do not skip leg day. Do not. I if mean, that's not the perfect match do, for Wes. I don't do know not is. skip leg day. Shout out to my brother Wes. He's uh, sleeping. Yeah. He's asleep. He's asleep with the cats. <laughs> I think they might be up though. They might be up. They so, <laughs> so we no, we not. Uh, low key is me. So low key. All right. So you you in you in a Van Garden. You're doing your thing. So every Friday, when it when it's like." Sounds for people to come check you out and see you and everything. Yeah. So basically, I report. I perform anywhere from like New Orleans to Dallas to San nice. Antonio. Nice. At least three times a month. You can catch me every the second Friday of every month here at Avant Garden for gotcha. 11 West Time. So next Friday. Yeah. What date is that? No, February 15th. February 15th. We switching it up because of Valentine's Day. Hell yeah. In case y'all want to do some fucking. So, hey, don't uh, be the people hey, happy going. Happy Death Day comes out on Valentine's. Hey, that let me tell you this. Happy I, Death Day too. I read the hell of a meme. Don't be the people go spend fifteen hundred to get a room to do the same three positions. Oh, yeah. Don't be that person. <laughs> Break something out, man. Get the ass or something. I'm telling you, man. No, put a put a champagne bottle on a booty or something. I don't know. Try, turn it up a little bit. Be like, hey, baby. Pour some hot candle. Hey, baby, you ever had sack. chocolate in you? you get know the honey. Get the honey. Fuck with the honey. <laughs> get the fucking honey. Yeah. There you go. Daniel, here he's it goes. Back. Oh, what he's you got gone. to say? Absolutely. He did a little swirly move. Swirl we don't know move. what that is. He's popping and locking. <laughs> Pressing it. <laughs> All right. So, choose of the week. Uh, choose of the week. Hey. Uh, well, As five people on side, the craft wins every time. Oh, <laughs> okay. He's back on the craft. Okay. Shoes of the week. Hey. Shoes of the week. Shoes of the week. Can't hey, smell your feet. Can we get some backup vocals on Shoes of the Week from the beautiful the Vanessa Travel? Vanessa Travel. Hey, Vanessa, Vanessa like Travel. Let's get it. Paige. Paige. Just see y'all yell one, two, three, Shoes of the Week real loud. Shoes of the Week. Hey! hey! 
So, hey, I'm right. This is Zaino Divisi. This is Nice Kicks, Shoes of the Week, and also... Shout out to Nice Kicks, size 14, please. And size size 12 size and size 14 10. 14 for your mongoloid feet. And also, culling on... Size 7. Hey, that was a size 7. <laughs> we ordering, baby. <laughs> So was and and also active athlete on color, man. Don't forget about it. we coming Shout up to athlete athlete pretty South often, Park. man. So the shoes of the week. Hey, matter, matter of fact, they come out tomorrow. So I know a lot of y'all gonna be broke since tomorrow the second, and you gotta pay <laughs> rent and shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so nobody might have these. Nobody might have these shoes on. It's tough out there in these streets. <laughs> Cause, Cause, oh hey, hey, Simon said tax returns. Is the government back open? The government is back open, y'all. Go file your damn taxes. But you know what? Might need to get that. We couple weeks, and you might need to get a cash advance, depending on who you go to. Hey, matter of fact, pretty pretty quick taxes, man. Go check them out. Oh, yeah. They hook you up. Hey, also, okay. Taxes. So we're going to go with the Jordan 5s. they the Laney edition. Ooh. So the Laney edition is a royal blue with, yellow, with a yellow silhouette, 23 in gray. And a gray elephant skin cement side on the on the side of the Jordans. They come out tomorrow, and I think they're priced at 190. But what's good about this shoe is the same silhouette of all five Jordans. It's just a new color for his high school, and it's first come first serve. So anybody that knows about Jordans, first come first serve is a big deal. So if you can step out to your local stores, Foot Locker, Champs. Definitely active at league. Go check them out. Tell them Gut Podcast sent y'all. And also... Daniel can't take the fact that we didn't pick the witch or the craft. The witch from the craft? We still on the craft? What okay, the fuck? Keep going, keep going. So these, going, these going. shoes, these shoes are... They're not limited edition, but mostly shoes, like, if you don't get them, when they go back on, I say, on another app like NikeKicks.com, they going to up the price. So I'm going to tell you like this. It's first come, first serve, so that's very rare for Jordans. Because most of the time, I either have to do a raffle... I either had to go to my shoe connect. Shout out to my shoe connect. You got fired at Foot Locker, you dumb. Fuck, oh, got fired at Foot Locker. God damn it. It's the, it's the Jordan Laney. It's the Jordan 5 Laney. They come out tomorrow, the 2nd. The Jordan 4s, the Jordan 5s. It's the Jordan 5s. And the Jordan 1s. It, it I has think the, are the best Jordan. It has the reflector tongue. Yeah. And it's his high school silhouette colors. So it's a royal blue. With a yellow, and it's it's a badass shoe. It's I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them um, huh? I'm gonna let you check it out. That's what's up. Yeah, the Jordan. Yeah, they kind of it'll go. You know, you could it could go with a U it could go with a UCLA jersey. You might could rock it, but it's a little more royal blue. UCLA kind of got like a Carolina blue. Yeah, but shout out to Michigan Wolverines. You might could wear it with a Michigan jersey, but it's definitely a badass shoe, man, and it's. It's dope. Hey, it's scratched the 190. This shit is running for $200. That's my phone bill. So if my phone cut off and I had those Jordans on, just <laughs> just talk to me through yeah, the Jordans. Hey, shout out to everyone who calls me. If my phone is cut off in the next couple yeah, weeks and you I see me with those, those Jordans, Jordans, yeah, that's yeah, what happened. And, and if you see me with my lights off and you see a flashlight flickering in the air, I, I got the Jordans. Got the Jays on our feet playing. Yeah, I was sitting in the dark with candles lit and wear my Jordans. We're going to get weird with Jordans on our feet. We don't give a shit about bills yeah, no, or man. responsibilities. So that's Zaino's, the Vigi, uh Shoes of the Week from Guts Podcast. Shoes of the Week. Hey. Shoes of the Week. Shoes of the Week. Y'all love our background. I love everyone. Shout out to everyone man, that came. Everyone man. that came. Thank y'all for all coming. Man, appreciate y'all, man. We love we, y'all. We look at it like this. What they said, Travis Scott did his first concert. He had 13 people or less or something else. Hey, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> He's from Houston. He's from Houston, and DJ will be our backup dancer once we yeah. start going live. So, uh, yeah. thank y'all. <laughs> yeah. So, we waiting on Kid the Planners, and we out from Gus Podcast. It's Zaino yeah. the Vision. It's your boy Space Viking. And this is low-key as me. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> <laughs>